This is the Wii Viewer. I'm the little Wii Viewer. And we're going to review Wii Music. I have a good feeling that we're not going to agree on this one. What did you think of Wii Music? I liked it. Really? Yes. My problem with the game is that it's just bleh. I think the game is interesting, but not something I would play more than an hour. I am not a fan of rhythm games, mainly because I don't possess any sense of rhythm in real life, as I'm sure some of you have seen in my Guitar Hero review. So this game didn't really appeal to me, but I could see why people would like it. The game is hosted by a guy who sounds like Curly from the Three Stooges. There are lots of different sounding instruments in this game to play. However, the instruments are just basically props, with one exception that I'll get into later. It'll automatically play the notes it needs for the song. Your only job is to keep the rhythm. Some of the instruments were obviously just filler. The dog suit for one. I don't consider barking like a dog a viable instrument. On some of the instruments, if you hold the C button or the B button, it'll change the tone and pitch of the note you're playing. There are four different ways to play the instruments. They range from simple to complicated. The easiest and the less tiring is the trumpet style controls. You use the one button to make the notes, and if you're feeling a little bit rebellious, you can switch it up with the two button. Piano style is as simple as thrusting the Wiimote up and down like you're playing the keys on a piano. Guitar style is played by extending the nunchuck out and holding it like you're holding the neck of a guitar, and you make the motion of strumming the guitar with the Wiimote. Lastly is violin style, where you hold the nunchuck outward like you're holding a violin, and you move the Wiimote back and forth like you're using a bow to play the chords. Most of the time it seemed to read my actions correctly, so I can't complain about that, but it sure did get tiring quickly. The one exception to the simplistic play is the ability to completely control playing a drum set. However, to do this, you'll need to pull out your Wii balance board from the closet. It was extremely complicated to control, but if you really worked at it, you could get it down and just really amaze your friends. The actual game can be played with up to four people in your band. That means you can have four separate people playing four separate instruments at the same time, and that's pretty amazing. There is a very extensive training program in this game, so if you really want to get into the advanced features of the game, it'll do a good job training you. Plus, when you complete a training program, you'll get more songs unlocked. However, most of the game you'll be in a jam session where you'll pick one of the few backgrounds and rock out to the song you choose. There are 50 songs to choose from, and there are some licensed songs in there, like Material Girl by Madonna and Locomotion, but really bad versions of them. They're like MIDI versions of them, which I don't personally like. They're not bad. It's just that you have to really play them. To actually make it like the song, you have to make it follow notes on an option that you can use. Let's say you get through the entire jam, you get done, and they let you replay it and rewatch it. I thought it was clever the different camera angles they used to show you playing the song. So it's not just you looking at yourself playing the song. So that was kind of cool. Uh-huh. I agree. They let you go through the entire song even if you make a ton of mistakes. They always go to the end. And then you rate on how you did. That's the major flaw in this game. The game doesn't care how you did. And I think that's a major problem. Why not just give yourself a hundred every time? It's like when you're in school and the teacher says, you grade your own test. You give yourself an A. What are you insane? You don't give yourself an F. Nah, but I do grade the ways I would do. After you get done, they let you make your own CD cover, which I thought was cool because you can customize it any way you really wanted. There's three different type of games in here. The beepops, you have to hit it at the same time when they land on the floor. The bells, you have different color bells, and each hand that your Mii's holding is the one that each bell is in your hand. And so on, you have to match the notes with the bell when it goes on your bells a note that you have to play. Pitch perfect. There's one thing I want to tell you before I get onto the game. I rule on this game. Part one and two, it's match the speakers. Part three and four is match both Mii's. Now the time limit in the game. At the end, which gets a little hard, you have to follow the beat speaker and put the Mii's in the right spot so they match the part. So little wee viewer, would you buy, rent, or skip? Rent. So you wouldn't buy this game? Well, the game is really short. I agree with you. That doesn't mean that it's bad. I don't think the game is bad. I just think it's so bleh that no one's really going to care. So you're going to say that you're going to skip it. Don't ask. No, I'm not going to say skip it, amazingly enough. I think you should rent it and not even think about buying this game. Not at $50. That seems excessive for this type of game. Little Wee Viewer says rent. I say rent. But please don't buy this game. It's not worth it. But just for fun, in this review, I'm going to show a picture of me in my Halloween costume.